Patricia Gibson. Mr Speaker, the Tory Vice Chairman, um, the Honourable Member for Braintree, is reported, as has been said, as saying there will be no Minister for the Disabled appointed until the Brexit chaos has passed. Can you tell us why that is? Now, three members so far have asked this question to no avail. And it's disturbing that the Minister seems to be blaming MPs for the lack of a Disabilities Minister because it has not supported um, the Prime Minister's doomed deal. What signal does the Minister think this sends to disabled people? about the government's priorities and why are disabled people paying the price for this government's Brexit chaos? As as my earlier answers, uh, I am very happy to attend and support debates and meetings. I was very proud to have served as the Minister for Disabled People a few years back and my passion has not diminished one bit. We all collectively owe it to do everything we can for those people who need that extra bit of support and I'm proud to do that.